Hi, welcome for RTL online training. So this is Chandra. So I have been forwarding the videos about Oracle Cloud uh, technologies on finance, supply chain management, human capital management, and as well as the technical. And today I'm going to come up with financials uh, accounting entries topic. Before we go for enter into this particular uh, topic, I request everyone please subscribe and make your friends and colleagues to subscribe this technology to get the latest updates about Oracle Cloud. And if anyone is looking for the training quality or normal training, corporate training, as well as the placement, if anybody is looking for the job, please refer us. You can find the our communication address and numbers in this. So today we are going to talk about the accounting entries in account payables. Whenever we are working with account payables module, we are going to use mainly two documents, invoice documents and uh, payables document. So it's very common that when we, have a, when we are going to attend for an interview, they will ask us, tell me what are the accounting entries in procure to pay cycle or order to cash cycle or in account payables model or in account receivables model like that. In this session, I'm going to come up with the uh, account payables model with practical. I'm going to show you the practically also how the accounts will be generated for this. Okay, so whenever we create an uh, invoice document in account payables model, the accrual account will be debit and liability will be credit. Here debit means what comes in in account uh, payables or financials point of view, the base concept. Debit means what comes in, credit means what goes out. For example, we have purchased uh, some furniture for the organization. So that's accrual means you got uh, the amount from the you got the furniture from the suppliers so that's accrual account is debit liability we are supposed to make one thousand dollars to the supplier we have not paid but once you make the payment your liability account will be credit debit and cash will be credit so whenever we combine this both accounting combinations here liability is credit and here liability is debit both will be clear. So both are going to be right off here, this two. Whenever we combine the invoice accounting transactions, as well as the payment accounting transaction, this two will be cleared. Once it is cleared, finally what we will find, accrual is uh, debit and cash account is going to be credit. That's what it happens. So finally, this accrual is a debit and cash is clear. It means you have purchased some goods or you have received some service from supplier. For that, you have cleared the cash. But before we go for clear the payments, uh, we need to maintain this accounts, right? That's why we will be finding the liability and accrual accounts over here. So where do these accounting uh, setups will be done? Generally, when we are working with uh, applications, let me show you where exactly this accounts will be generated. So in FSM environment, let's go to financials models, financials offering, and account payables, we will find common options for payables and procurement. It will ask us here, common, oh sorry, I have entered wrong uh, word here, search word, let's go for, common options for payables and procurement over here, we are going to find out. And we'll choose our business unit, whatever the business unit we are working, we are going to choose that business unit. So let me take this business unit here. If I select a US one business unit, apply and go to task here. Now we can see that liability account is here and we can find a uh, prepayment and other things here. This is what liability account from here, it's going to be populated. 
Okay. Uh, let's go for create one standard invoice here and we'll see the accounting transactions here. Go to payables module, invoices. Let's go for task list and I'm going to create a standard invoice here, create an invoice here. like a little bit slow instance but still if we see practically uh, we can easily remember let's go for us1 business unit Later standard invoice amount is $99. Let's go for enter the line information over here. One two one double zero is account payables account. Go for validate this invoice here. Whenever we validate uh, the invoice system is going to check the information what we have entered. We got additionally tax information here. Let me remove this tax information here. I'm going to make uh, the tax is zero here. I'll save this invoice and go for validate the invoice. After creating the invoice and validate the invoice, if approval is not required, we'll go for create accounting transactions. Two options we have, one is draft, another one is transfer to general ledger. Another one is transfer to general ledger here. Let's go to invoice actions here, invoice actions and go for post to ledger here. Now we can view the accounting transactions. And we go for accounting entries here, debit and credit. Two accounts we'll find here, debit accounting as well as credit account. Two things we are going to find out here. We can see the expenditure is a debit. The remaining whatever uh, is uh, liability is there that we got. 
and credit is uh, you can find here liability the credit okay and now we will go for uh, make the payment for this invoice mrf iphone one is the invoice let's go for make this transaction here payments when we make the payments Let's go to payments here. Here, whenever we are going to make the payment, we'll find accounting transactions. Let me make the payment first, and then we'll try to create accounting transactions. Choose the business unit. For which supplier you are going to make the payment? Choose the supplier name here, advanced corporation. And then we'll choose supplier site. It's fine. Our discount service does not exist. And we'll try to choose from which bank account we are going to select here. And uh, we would like to go ahead with payment method as check and payment process profile. Let me choose this payment process profile. Is, uh, I'm going ahead with standard check and payment document we'll be using here. will choose the invoice number to make the payment let me go for select the option here invoice number the default it will choose the list of invoices which are pending for this supply choose our invoice and we are going to make this 99 dollars payment to the supplier from this bank account in this currency in this method check and this is going to be our check format we can see the payment document also. You can find the payment number 3961. Let me search for the payment here. Manage payments. Whenever we go for search this payment number, click this button. We can find the payment details, whatever we have done. We'll go ahead with uh, create accounting transactions. In case if we want to go for uh, delete this payment or inactive or cancel, how we can do that? That also one of the important question they will be expecting us. Invoice actions and void. Void is nothing but a cancel. Now I'm going to configure this payment transfer to GL here. We can view the accounting transactions. Here we can see that cash clearing we will find here. Cash account will be credit. And our liability is going to be debit. See, we can find. Okay. So this is how we are going to work with our uh, invoice accounting transactions and payment accounting transactions. These are basic rules which we will be finding whenever we are working with the account papers. Okay. Thank you. Uh, please subscribe to the channel to get more updates about the financial supply and human capital management, entry questions, real-time issues, and all this. Thank you.